Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we killed Dominic Lockhart, and then got suddenly but inevitably betrayed by uh, Hargreave, who uh, wants not only to take this suit and cure the virus with it, he wants to be the one wearing it himself. Which means Alcatraz has to die. But Tara Strickland turned out to be a CIA operative and uh, freed us. Also, some ma some piece of profit is still alive in the form of the AI in the suit. And now it's explicitly talking to uh, to Alcatraz in character as profit. Huh. We also learned through one of Prophet's memories that uh Hargreave knew the suits were symbiotic before he approved them for use in the first Crisis game. And that's super fucked up. There were shots in there of, uh... Sykes and I think Nomad from, uh... Crisis 1, as well as a shot of Aztec's body burning up. Yeah, that, that was one of the other features of the, uh, of the suit. Which they didn't really show off here, since the only one we've seen is the one I'm wearing. Uh, if a soldier wearing the nano suit dies in the field, they activate a function that causes the nano uh, the nano machines to consume the suit and uh, everything inside of it in order to prevent any hint of the technology from uh, falling into enemy hands. It just looks like they burn up from the inside out and disintegrate in seconds. At no point did I see this system activated against a living enemy, but goddamn. The man is insane. He thinks he's the only competent human being on the planet. But he's got vital knowledge on the set. He stole their technology a hundred years ago at Tunguska. He's been working on it ever since. Three years ago, he was the puppet master behind the mess at Ling Shan that killed my father. He's got some kind of plan for confronting the invasion, and we need to know what it is. He's holed up in the executive level, through that way. Heavy security. No one gets in to see him face to face. Believe me, I've tried. You're gonna have to break him. I'll get up to the helipad and secure our transport. Bring him out and meet me there. Roger that. Out, we take him someplace we can make him talk. I'll stay on comms and keep you posted. Now go! Hell yes! Tactical options available. Uh, silencer, reflex sight. All clear. False alarm. Locate and extract Hargreave. Find and confront Jacob Hargreave. Oh dear, I don't think you enjoyed that very much. Well, maybe you shouldn't have sided with that guy. Just saying. See, the only reason he wanted to, uh, Lockhart dead is because the guy hated the suit so much he wasn't listening to rationality. Man! I don't have another weapon on me. I guess I'll grab this Grendel, then. That's not a Grendel. That is... Ow! Fuckers! Oh, I want to know. Oh, it didn't beep when I walked through the metal detector! Light shotgun! Oh. Yep, that's a light shotgun, all right. Okay. Now what's over here? A bunch of medical supplies. Oh, are they planning to wait this out wherever the fuck we are right now? There is no purpose to this room at all. Awesome. 
Oh, no, it's just another way around. Sure. I should be... Yeah, there. Damn, that's a lot of bullets. Nothing of use on this floor? Then why can I go here? Crying out ops, huh? Oh, a dog tag. I'm glad I found that. I plan to see better days. Pretty sure that one's plastic. I knew Hargreave was up to no good. Excuse me. From the ASES of War, the new face of the Rash Corporation. Oh, from the ashes of war, it's meant to say. March 1947. Oh, that was, this is like a magazine cover from when it was, uh, the company was founded. That's why the logo is slightly different. Astonishing Science, October 10th, 1967, Weekly Science Journal, Cryogenics, the New Frontier. Our grieve rash sees huge potential in the new biotech. Hi there! Would have been better if you'd pointed me out, but whatever. You can sound like Robocop walking around like this. Huh? Hello, buddy, where'd you go? Okay, the next one. Nope, no, he found me, he found me. You done yet? You feel better now? Sorry, buddy. Unless you're a ghost whisperer, you're not gonna hear from these guys again. Philanthrop Philanthropist Magazine. Philanthropist? Philanthropist. That's how you say that word. That's right. Hargreave Rash Split. Anatomy of a Rumor. Where is Carl Rash? That's interesting. Anything of any uh, actual importance in these? Like, what's this? It's just a vase. Okay. There's these display cases around here, Justin. This place looks far too nice for these cell guys to be holed up in it. I must be using, like, a public facility as a, uh, staging ground. I don't know why I said we. I guess fuck those guys. Ow! Dude, that was rude! Alright, if you won't go in, then I'll just go in. Fuck, I think he saw me just there. Ah, ah fucking oh. hell, why'd he back up? Damn it. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Whoa, there's a nano suit over there. Instead of just charging blindly across, let me just make sure I'm alone. Yeah, this thing looks familiar. I think this is, uh... Oh, is one of these the one I'm wearing and one of them is the one from the first game? No, I think these are using the same model. The mask is slightly different on the old one. I think these are both Nano Suit 2.0. Or 1.0. I'm struggling to remember exactly what I look like right now. So if the nano suits are symbiotic, they'll, it's not just because Alcatraz is hurt really bad. They'll just merge with anyone who puts them on. That's why 
prophet was taking the call from Hargreaves and he was still wearing the fucking suit. He can't take it off either. Or he couldn't. How the hell did he get enough of the suit on to put it on Alcatraz? You know, I, I'm kind of glad they've brought a, a prophet back as an AI because I was going to mention today that, you know, you know, all the names had the like, meanings and such. I mean, Aztec was, uh, okay, Aztec was named that because his character was, uh, you know, Mexican. But, uh, in fairness, he was a red shirt. He died immediately, so he didn't get any character development. But, uh, like, Jester was called Jester because he was constantly cracking jokes to cover up his nerves. Uh, well, Sykes both has a really bad attitude and is named Sykes, so they nicknamed him Psycho. Nomad is a joke about it being like a... It's technically an open world game, even though there's nothing to do except go to the next story mission. So Nomad is about the fact that he's always on the move. He's always moving around the map. Uh, But Prophet... Prophet seemed to have a connection to the aliens in the first game. He could sense when they were coming. He seemed to have some idea of what they wanted. And he knew that once the uh, the big do ice dome went up, there was uh, nothing to do except leave and not drop a nuke on them, but they wouldn't listen to him. Like, that game ended with Prophet stealing a dropship and flying back to the island. And then the very last thing that happens, I think, is uh, Nomad and Psycho taking a dropship and going after him. You know, to be continued. And I was kind of disappointed that, you know, oh, Prophet's dead. That means they'll never be able to explain, you know, his weird connection to them. How is he the Prophet of the Ceph? By the way, I like this display case. I've just realized Justin will have no idea of this. It's old-timey equipment. This must be stuff that was used by Hargreave Rash way in the past, because it's like a, a compass, a set of binoculars that look like they're about a hundred years old. Is that, like... What is this? Is this like a pan for panning for gold, of all things? What is that? Just a, f a food pen for prospectors to carry around? Actually, where the fuck am I going? As I'm just realizing, now that I'm no longer distracted by my thoughts... Is there something? Yes, there... There is something back here, but it's not a doorway. I guess this room is just here to show off the nano suits. Don't mind if I take this with me. I had a feeling that's what that was, and that almost killed me with one salvo. Wait. No, I can't walk through the curtains. Huh. How the fuck do I get in there? Oh, I see. Yeah, around this way. I dropped the gun automatically. They really want me to open this thing. So here you are. Theseus at last. Welcome. That makes you a Sterian. Scant reward for so much effort, eh? Crack the labyrinth and you would at least expect to see the Minotaur before it kills you. Ah, well, it seems only fair. Come then. Masks off. I am here. What? Er... Shocked? I would be. I'd revel in it if I were you. That sudden jump of the pulse, the cram of the fight-or-flight chemicals into the belly. So sweet while it lasts. But it's been very long since I felt any of it. He's in a cryo tube. The, the image of him sitting in an office chair is just computer generated. A century or more since my pleasures were anything but cerebral. I took the path Carl Rash refused, the cold road to immortality. 
I'd hope to wear Prophet's suit myself, take on the weapons he brought us, wear his armor, enter the labyrinth and confront the Minotaur. But now, you, you will have to finish what Prophet began. Get out of there, Alcatraz! No! Wait! There is a final piece of the puzzle you need. There on the desk. Take the syringe. Syringe. Oh. Well, here's the blueprints for Nano Suit 1. Uh. I guess this is a marine nano suit because it's got all this gear on it. Uh, this is a nano suit with a cell logo on the shoulder, so I don't want this to exist. Take and, it. And this one's all bulky and has no head, so I assume this is the prototype. What do you want with a syringe? Take uh, it. I guess on the other side, then. Fine, I'm taking the syringe. You win. Oh, I can't get it from this side. It just wasn't doing... What? Collectible? Take the syringe. Oh, this is the collectible. It's the bridge. Fine, I'm taking it. You win. Take it. Yoink. Are you kidding me? Use? You want me to stick myself with this thing and you haven't even told me what it is? As if I would trust you. Suit failure. Yes, there. The Tunguska iteration. The key to all gates. Twenty twenty, this is the first game. This is when we found the ship. Minimizes falling damage. You think I'm based in this cesspit city because I like it here? You were waiting for them. Why didn't you warn someone? Warn who? Humanity at large. Look what you've done, old man! They're here, you- That's right, Nathan. The owners are back. Waking the systems, firing up the boiler, back to spring clean the old family residence. And not much liking what they found festering behind the fridge. Can you blame them, really? Ah, the angels of death at last. My escort back to human frailty. Well, it took you long enough. Become prophet. Take on his armor. Strike for your species, for humanity, and all its fumbling, half-made blood. Get out of there, Alcatraz. Oh, boy. Uh, while he was talking, a dropship dropped off a shitload of Seth, and they murdered the shit out of me. Ah, the angels of death at last. My escort back to human frailty. Well... The hell are these things? They're like grunts with way more armor. Get out of there, Alcatraz. <laughs> yes. That's it! Go! Go! Save us all! <laughs> this is Jacob Hargreave to all cell personnel. Commander Lockhart is dead. I will be joining him shortly, and the PRISM facility is wired to explosively self-destruct. 
Subject Prophet is now your only hope of turning back the alien invasion. You will therefore discontinue hostilities and afford him every assistance you can as you evacuate this island. An email. All prison facilities will explosively self-seal in 10 minutes. Your employee duties are terminated. Please exit via the indicated channels. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now so I can do my outro if I've only got 10 minutes to escape. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, look at that. For once, I actually found all of the collectibles. The dog tag, the souvenir, and the email. I've also found zero out of zero New York vehicles. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What did he even mean by become prophet? Like, become the next prophet? The guy with a connection to the aliens? It's a Tunguska blast. Jesus Christ, that was a giant explosion that was believed to be a meteor almost hitting the Earth and then blowing up right before it hit the ground. Flattened an entire forest. A Google the Tunguska event. For the record, Asterion, who I referenced briefly, is the name of the Minotaur, because he was still a child of a king, so they gave him a name. Or at least a child of a queen, anyway. I think his father was the bull. Uh, <laughs> but yes. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Crisis 2, Burning Dog fans. Wish me luck, because I think I'm going to need it. Later!